Earlier this week, Kevin Liu, the creator of Orchids, tweeted about Orchids and claimed that it's the world's first AI full stack engineer. It's a state of the art on UI and full stack capabilities, ranking number one on UI bench and design arena, and beating Devin, Lovable, Cursor, Bolt, Replit, and VO. In this video today, we're gonna be testing out Orchids. Also, we're gonna test out one of the applications that was created using Orchids, and then we're gonna clone upwork.com so without further chatter let's dive right into the video and let's get started with the testing part hi and welcome back to skill Cup. this is a hosham Rears and we're finally getting started with the video so right here at orchids.app you can just go ahead and sign up now once you sign up you will see your account popping up right here with the credits and daily refill you get around 100k tokens per day every day and in the free tier you only get one deployment which means you can only create one full stack application to deploy i want to talk a little about the interface as well as some of the projects that were created using orchids so in the interface you can see different tools like cloning a website if you want to go with that you just have to paste in a url of a website and it would clone for you then you have a template where you can choose a template to start from and then you have the design theme tool where you can set a design theme for your project after that you have the model selection option right here where you can select auto where it will choose any model the best model depending on the complexity of the task you can either go with gpt5 claude sonnet 4 or grok 4 fast now that we've talked a little about the interface i have actually tested out one of the applications that was built on orchids this recraft ai right here you can see i used recraft to actually create this cute red panda and it did a fabulous job at that so this means that we can actually create fully functional applications using orchid but what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna clone upwork.com so let's go ahead to upwork.com and i'm just gonna go ahead and copy the url right here go back right here and i'm just gonna go ahead and say clone website let's go and hit send and I'm hoping that Orc is going to do its magic and I'm going to have an Upwork clone. So there you go. It's scraping the website. Right now it's scraping the data, preparing the cloner. And once it's done scraping all the assets, it can pretty much clone it. So there you go. The website has been scraped. Now it's started planning of how to actually proceed with the coding part and how to place in the elements on the web page. And once it's done, planning is going to start the coding portion but the only thing that i'm looking forward to is the ability to create full stack applications so i'm really looking forward to the sign up and the functionality of upwork.com being embedded in my cloud so let's wait for that and there you go the planning is done and now it's started editing the code so right now it's creating the globals.css for styling now it's creating the cloudflare loading.tsx i hate to break this to you but I think this one is a failure because what it did, it went on to Upwork.com and it scraped the information from there. But Upwork has a security measure, which is Cloudflare. So it actually only scraped the Cloudflare page and then cloned that. It is not intelligent enough to bypass Cloudflare or the capture part and clone the actual website. That is why I think this might be a failure of a cloning project it can only clone websites with the least bit of security which is not practical enough because most of the websites on the internet will surely have security so that's why i think this is going to be a big fail now that we know that the cloning part is the big fail let's go ahead and try out the other tools maybe we're gonna test out with a template so let's go back to orchards and let's create a new project so i'm just gonna go ahead and choose one template from these templates right here so i'm just gonna choose this space agency template because i think this looks kind of cool i'm really into space and stuff so let's select this template and confirm space agency template okay so once you select the space agency template you can also go ahead and enter your prompt here. So using the space agency template, you can make me the landing page of a fictional space agency like Men in Black, the movie. So I'm just going to go ahead and see what comes out of this. And to be quite honest, I'm really looking forward to the results right now. 
So let's see whether it can merge the fictional Men in Black movie with the space agency template or not. So this time I'm just going to wait for the results and then we can talk about it. So there you go. We have the results. MIB division is a classified extraterrestrial monitoring just focused on protecting Earth from alien threats. And this looks really cool. I think this is really good. It did a really great job when it comes to adaptability of the template. And with the idea that we had, we have the newsletter here as well. So this was a complete pass. So I would say the second test is a complete pass. It can adapt to templates really well. Now that we have tested the cloning part, which was a fail and the template part, which was a pass. Let's go ahead with the design theme and check how it performs in the design theme tool. So let's go ahead and click on design theme. And here I can create my own design theme by just clicking here. I can paste in any Figma URL or upload any file. Okay, so I'm just going to go with a website URL right here. So let's go ahead and paste in one website URL that I have in mind, which is Leonardo AI, which is right here. I really like the design of this website, the theme and the colors as well. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use this design and I can add additional instructions, how the design style and the more and the specific requirements for my template. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so in the theme additional instructions, I wanted it to have neon theme with futuristic elements and yet I want to keep this easy to navigate. So I'm just going to go ahead and create this design theme and it's going to start creating that. So I can go ahead and use this design kit right here. So use design kit which is right here and now I'm going to create a football shoe store with the design that I just created with Leonardo AI and my custom prompt. So let's go ahead with the prompt for the football shoe store. I'm going to be really simple with the prompt make the landing page of a football shoe store because if I say landing page any AI should understand that I mean it should have a hero section, a testimonial section, some product listing and much more. So let's go ahead and hit enter and see whether my football shoe store landing page adapts to the design of Leonardo AI and the prompt that I wrote. So let's wait for the results and then we can talk about it. Okay, so there you go. We have the results. It did copy the neon style as I've told it to. You can see, but the images are not present because we did not provide any assets. We can see the feature product. We can see the contact and it's working completely fine. And here you can see I can actually do a quick view and add this to cart as soon as i do that it's available in the cart which means the cart functionality is working as well so this is quite good result i would say and one thing that i really like is that you see the code right here as well as the database you can actually attach your own database your auth and your payment methods and that's the whole idea about orchids orchids is an ai full stack engineer as claimed by Kevin Liu in his tweet and my honest review about Orchids is that you can use it to create full stack applications yes you can make custom designs and you can even adapt to templates but Orchids is not as powerful when it comes to cloning it cannot clone any website practically which is a bummer and I actually wanted to complete this full stack application but I ran out of credits which means you might have to which means you might have to upgrade to their premium tier if you want to create one full stack application with that said i would highly suggest you guys to first try this out test it out and once you think that this is the tool for you you can go ahead and upgrade to this with that honest review i want to wrap this video up i hope this video was helpful if you found this video insightful hit that like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring